Jay Sorensen, who has everything we need to know this morning. Most importantly, though, a very thick jacket. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, definitely grab the thick coat this morning or layer it up because it is a very cold start this morning. We are all pretty much waking up to temperatures in the 20s and 30s, some spots in the 40s, but very chilly out there. Thankfully, though, we do have a warmer day ahead compared to yesterday, where most of us topped out in the 50s and 60s. Uh, also on tap, it's going to get a little bit breezy, especially tomorrow afternoon and evening. Thanks a system passing by. We're not expecting any moisture from that system, but the wind is definitely going to impact us. And then we've got some cooler temperatures on the way. So we are staying below average not only today and tomorrow, but really through this upcoming weekend. So we'll get into all that and more coming up. But here's a look at those current temps right now. We're starting off at 39 at the Tucson International Airport. So definitely colder compared to yesterday by a few degrees. 36 up in Marana, 38 in Ore Valley at the freezing mark in Sabino Canyon, 41 for the east side and 30 38 for Rita Ranch. Not much better out towards the west, mainly in the 30s and 40s. Ajo, you're one of the warmer spots at 45. So, yeah, not very warm, right? 29 in Sassabee, 33 in Nogales, so just barely above freezing there, and only 21 degrees in Wilcox. So, a very, very frigid start, especially for our friends out towards Cochise County in the Sulphur Springs Valley. Just dropped down to 20, potentially upper teens this morning, kind of following Hannigan Meadow at 19 degrees. So, again, very cold out there bundle up before you head out the door. We're also waking up to a few high clouds, which could make for a really nice sunrise this morning. Clouds will gradually decrease throughout the day, so this won't be an issue all day long, but they're high clouds, so they're not going to block out the sunshine all too much and high temperatures will rebound a little bit more compared to yesterday, pushing into the mid to upper 60s for some of those cooler spots. Low 70s, though, for the warmest parts of eastern Pima County, including the airport, Tucson Estates, Aver Valley and Marana, but still below average for this time of year. Usually we should be right around 75 on this day. To the South Andes, mainly in the 60s, but we do have some 50s on the board, including Bisbee, low 60s for Wilcox and Benson. So still a cooler than average day, but at least will be a little bit warmer than yesterday. Over the next 24 hours tonight, it is going to get pretty cold again. Most of us dropping down to at least the 30s and 40s, but there should be a couple 20s on the board, especially out towards Cochise County. And then for tomorrow, we'll have tons of sunshine, but the wind will gradually pick up throughout the day. Gusts around 20 to 30 miles per hour possible, especially Wednesday night. And that's all thanks to a system passing by to the north of us. And that's going to bring some colder temperatures with it. So we are back in the upper 60s by tomorrow afternoon. And that is that system. It's just to the south of San Francisco. That's going to make its way to the north of us. So not going to be breezy today, but as that gets closer, the wind will pick up for your Wednesday. Upper 60s Wednesday and Thursday. Brief warm up into the low 70s on Friday. This weekend, pretty much 60s and 70s for the warmest spots. So if you're heading to that U of A game, no big warm up expected and overnight lows should stay in the upper 30s and low 40s. That's a check of weather.